Hello everybody, it's that college football guy here with another video. Well, what do we have here? Well, I did the video not so long ago, and thank you, everybody. Y'all going going crazy in the comment section on who are the realistic candidates for the SEC. Y'all going at it in the comment section, and I love it. Thousand views on the video, and I don't get that many on this very small channel, and continues to climb up, so thank you very much for that. Um... But this one is the other half of the shoe, to sort of speak. Who are the realistic candidates for the big, for the Big Ten? Um, now, there's been a lot of reports here and there. Academics matter. Academics don't matter. The Kevin Warren, the now departed Big Ten commissioner, um, said that it would not be of consideration. Problem is, He's not the one who decides this. It's the, it's the presidents and chancellors, administration of the universities. They decide who goes in. And the fact is, it's been reported by a multitude of sources that most of them want academics to be the priority. But who can get in? Now, all the buzz, we know about Florida State's lawsuit. It's kind of hard not to at this point, right? Right. Florida State's lawsuit going on. We know we know what that is. We know how that's going. Now it looks like the ACC is not going to budge, which means somebody's going to be poning over a lot of money. Which means I did the video yesterday with them poning up the money. Who can afford a $500 million payout to leave the ACC? Not that many. They're going to have to wait until that deal expires, and then we see what happens. But we got time for that. But... With that being going, who are viable candidates? Who really is Clemson a candidate? No. Well, the Big Ten wants to get in the South. No academics. None. They're not even close. So, no. Florida State is close. Would they get in on their own if it was just one school getting in? Probably not. I. I've been hearing everything. There's a, there's a lot of talk. I've heard a lot of people. Big Mountain Podcasts are the same thing on their thing. The same, I don't know if they're the same sources or not. Hopefully not. But um, I'm hearing the same thing. My Florida State's got a lot of momentum to going in, but they need an academic school to go in with them. Their number one candidate is North Carolina. That's who they want. North Carolina and Florida. Said, oh, they'll get Miami. Miami is not as high academically right as North Carolina. Now, if North Carolina's off the books, who would be the obvious candidate? Believe it or not, folks, deep breath. Deep breath. I want you calm. I really can't believe I'm saying this. But Georgia Tech. I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. Put the gun down, okay? Hey, calm down. Calm down. Look. I get it. But the fact is, Georgia Tech's academics are higher. It's the Atlanta TV market, even though they really have no share of it. But it's still the Atlanta TV market, and some media partners still value that. So if Florida State comes in, they have to come in with an academic school. That makes Georgia Tech a possibility. Is Duke a possibility? If North Carolina isn't going, yes, they are. They are high in academics, even though they're a private university in the Big Ten, just like the SEC, prefer public universities land-grant universities, you know, the major players, they prefer that. Duke is a fallback option. They could go. And what has been brought up is Virginia. Mm, yeah, but Virginia, a lot of people believe that with Maryland and Penn State, they already have a good chunk of the Virginia market. So they really don't need it. But there are some people on there who want Virginia's for there for the academics, and it's it's close to the Big Ten footprint. It's not that far to go down for Maryland to go down or for anybody else to move. So it's not that far. So they're a viable candidate to do that. Um, would Virginia Tech be? No. Would Boston College? Not really. Would Pitt? Pitt's AAU, but I don't know if Penn State's ego would allow them in. And I still believe they're only going to get two this go around. I think everybody's waiting until, like I've said before, all of this with uh, revenue sharing and all the other things. What's going on right now is a dry run, a rehearsal. Once this gets started, 
and we'll have everybody in FBS in the same level with the revenue sharing. Does that cause problems? If it does cause problems, they're going to do a different thing. Now, everybody's saying, oh, they're going to leave, form their own level. Now, with the NCAA possibly declaring bankruptcy for the lawsuits, is that going to happen? I'll get into that on Sunday. I'm doing, um, as you saw it last week, nobody's doing this, so I figured I might as well be the first. I'm going to do a Sunday recap show. This will happen during the season. Yeah, I'm competing with the NFL. Don't care. Um, I'm going to put a recap show on. It'll be happening all year long. It's basically, I've decided to do it all the time now. Um, it's going to be what happens, recapping like I'll do the good, the bad, and the ugly with the games once those get going. Recap some of the stories. If I've already done it in a video, I'm not going to go extensive with it. It's just going to be a little bit snippets, but some of the topics I didn't cover, I will cover there. So... That's like a weekly recap in the world of college football. But I digress. That being said, there's like Pitt getting in. I don't think they will because of the Penn State's reasons and there's other things going on there. Um, Syracuse, no. Um, Virginia Tech, no. Wake Forest, no. Um, Georgia Tech, I mentioned. Miami. They're kind of in the level of with Virginia. Because it's a yeah, but maybe could be. Are they top three? No. They're not. I mean, we all know the Big Ten's number one wet dream of a candidate is Notre Dame. That's not a secret to anybody who's followed college football for the last, what, damn near 100 years? Um, so, this is not a surprise to anybody. But... Are they going to get into a conference? Not until the 2030s, the revenue sharing on it. Plus, they got they have their own NLRB lawsuit going. That could change everything, or it could change nothing. I don't know. Will they start force? They'll stop doing athletics and because they can't afford to pay play players like they're going to do. They're going to be doing it anyway. They're not Delo they're not Delaware. Okay, or wherever it was in the school up there. Duquesne. I think it was. Let me know in the comments which one was the one that, that canceled. Dartmouth. Dartmouth. Dartmouth's the one who now is canceling, I think, all their athletic programs because they can't afford to pay for revenue sharing up there and employment status and those other things. They can't afford to pay it. Call it a stipend and give it a small amount for every athlete. Should be done anyway. But I digress. Part of the scholarship and for non-scholarship athletes as well. But We got in here, Wake, no. Miami's a maybe in Virginia, no. Stanford, Cal, they pray. They're having wet dreams hoping they get in. No, you don't bring enough to the table. I'm sorry. You don't bring enough. And SMU. So of the ACC, who do I see realistically going and paying attention Florida State I they're a realistic candidate I don't think I don't think they're number one North Carolina is the number one candidate Florida State and Georgia Tech with the app uh, Georgia Tech I guess I could put Georgia Tech down with the but maybes group because you could put um, Georgia Tech Virginia or Miami as the pairing to go with Florida State, I doubt they'd pick Miami. They'd probably pick Georgia Tech over Miami because Miami's academics are not near as good not as, as good as you know, Miami's academics are behind Georgia Tech and Virginia. So I don't see they're doing that. Now the Big Twelve. The Big Twelve media deal ends in twenty thirty one, ironically around the time the college football playoff contract ends. Are there any Big Twelve schools that would be of interest? Now academics having value. Kansas, which has been linked to the SEC. I went into the I went into the Kansas bit. You can go watch my SEC video, which was done a couple days ago. Walk, go back in the scroll back through the videos. Actually, not even scroll back. It's the, pretty much the one, two before this one. You know, earlier in the week, um, I don't see them. They could be a candidate for the SEC, not candidate for the SEC, but I do. They're a potential candidate for the Big Ten. Kansas State, I don't see it. I'm sorry, I don't. Texas Tech. I don't see the Big Ten being desperate. 
because they're only going to go after you got to understand folks something everybody in the big 12 not all of you are going to the big 10 big 12 schools are more likely to end up in the sec than they are in the big 10 kansas being the only exception but if you go in these schools that come in the big 12 deal would be a package deal with notre dame so plan on that so baylor could utah potentially if it's 2030 you're talking how you could develop in six years seven years yeah, maybe if they dominate the big 12 do well in the college football playoff and do that over an extended period of time they could become a candidate i'm not saying they can't could colorado i don't know the big question for me personally is going to be what Colorado is going to look like next year. Because as he says, his three sons, Shadur, Shiloh, and Travis Hunter, are all probably going to the NFL. Will he still be a Colorado? That's going to be the test. If he's still a Colorado, okay, then we can do some things. But other than that, right now, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know if they qualify as a, yeah, maybe. Um, to be honest with you, I, I honestly don't know. Arizona, Arizona State, I highly doubt it. Um, Houston, UCF, Cincinnati, BYU. BYU is a definite no. They're not going to touch BYU with a 10-foot pole. Um, they they got to stick up their rear end for BYU. I don't know why. But... BYU, don't shoot the messenger on this one. BYU fans, I, I, they just don't want you. The Big 12 might be as high as you get. That ain't bad. Now, let's look at what else in the conference. I'm running on the list. And basically, for Big 10 candidates, I think Kansas is the only one. But out of the Big 12, I should say, candidates for the Big 10, Kansas is pretty much the only one. But you remember, nobody's going to make any moves out of the Big 12 until their deal comes to end. So you're talking 2029, 20, 2030. They're going to announce their move. So we will see how this goes. Um, are there any candidates? Is Oregon and Oregon State and Oregon State a candidates? No. I've said before, Texas A&M got absolutely pasted. And there's a lot of fans who are butthurt, who are crying, who are whining, who are sniveling who are Texas A&M fans. They need a lead to go to the Big Ten to get away from Texas. You morons seriously need to learn to shut the hell up. Because, look, Alabama and Auburn representatives met with your guys and basically verbally whooped your ass. Okay? They did. They whooped you. Verbally. We've been at each other. Alabama and Auburn have been at each other's throats for a long time and we've got no problem with it. Are you saying that because you can't handle Texas, you're better than us? School who you said that, oh, you can beat Texas any time on the floor because we're SEC, we can beat them. Now that Texas is showing up, you're going to run. And as I said in the other video, you go to the Big Ten. What if Texas goes to the Big Ten? You're going to run again and to where? So I don't see Texas A&M being candidate, despite all the rumors of the country, because it's a whole bunch of fans who are cry and butthurt over the fact that Texas is in the SEC now. Grow up. Because I hate to break it to you. Oklahoma fans could be pissed off in 2031 or 32, because Oklahoma State could possibly, remote chance at best, remotely join the SEC. You know what they said? Bring it. We'll beat them like we have before. We don't care. That's the attitude to have. You're just a school. They don't own you. Or do they? A lot of stupidity in the world of college football, isn't it? And I mean a lot. Um, so, realistically, candidates, like I said, Florida State, North Carolina, UNC are most likely going to be leaving shortly. Does UNC have the money to pay for the buyout? Well, UNC is just doing their maneuvering because they want to know what the buyout is. And believe me, they will not file a, a single syllable of a word 
until those lawsuits with Florida State and Clemson are settled. And Florida State and Clemson are intentionally dragging it out to go past the deadline where Stanford, Cal, and SMU become full voting members of the conference. Which means that 10, you needed 10 out of 15, actually, no, you needed 75%. 12 out of, out of the 16 schools, Notre Dame included, 12 of the 16 had to outvote. Now you're going to need 15, 14, 15 to pull it off to dissolve the conference to get out of paying any fees. That's not happening because all those schools don't have homes. So, no, I just don't see it. Um, but why don't you let me know what you think about all this down in the comments. So, again, thanks everybody for watching the video, hearing me rant. Um, if you haven't done it yet, do me a favor. Smash the like button. Hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. Helps the video be seen by more people. Comment on the video. Let me know. I've said the candidates that are right now realistic and outside the box. I see ACC-wise, North Carolina, Virginia. North Carolina is the number one candidate. Florida State is number two. As much as they don't like to admit it, they're number two. Don't say it. And they're at the yeah, buts who could continue who are also in that group, but a little bit below that is Virginia, it was Miami and Georgia Tech. Um, everybody else I really don't see as a realistic option. And, and the Big 12, once that opens up, Kansas, maybe Utah, really long shot of Colorado. I don't see Arizona having a chance in this. You know, their academics are up. I don't see them getting in. But you let me know. In the comments, who you think out of the ACC and the Big 12. And Texas A&M, because they will get absolutely obliterated by the SEC if they do. Not, but verbally, you run. Of course, the funniest thing for me as an SEC fan would be if A&M goes to the Big 10 and destroys everybody and wins it every year. We'd be like, wow, the team that couldn't finish above 500 in the SEC now wins the Big 10? Lord, you guys are soft. Hashtag soft as Sherman. Uh, but enough about Ohio State. Um, so comment down. Let me know what you think about it. About the list and add yours down in the comments. Share the video if you want to. If you haven't done already, check out some of the other videos I've done. And if you want to, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I just saw jumped up over 550. Getting there. <laughs> 551, I think, at the time of this video. I started recording it. Um, which I appreciate all of you. We're slowly on that crawl up to 1,000. So... What YouTube money is it good for? Well, it can help pay the groceries. Is <clears throat> We all need help with the grocery bill, don't we? There we go. This stupid notification on the phone. So again, thanks everybody for watching. I said like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter on X, the link's going to be in the description. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm here in Louisville. Um, rainy Louisville. We'll be heading back to Nashville to drop the trailer I just hooked to uh, up and I'm waiting for my break to end so I can get on the road. So again, thanks everybody for watching. Be safe out there. Crazy weather out here right now. And please be good to each other.